He made important contributions to economics, particularly in income distribution and individuals' choices. He introduced the concept of Pareto efficiency and discovered the Pareto distribution. He popularized the use of the term elite in social analysis. His name is Wilfredo Pareto. In the sprawling city of Rome, amidst the vibrant culture and buzzing streets, a brilliant mind was born. Wilfredo Pareto, a man of many talents, ventured into the world of economics and forever transformed the field. Growing up in an Italian family, Pareto was no stranger to the pursuit of knowledge. His insatiable curiosity led him to explore various disciplines, from sociology to mathematics, forging a path of intellectual ingenuity. Pareto's groundbreaking contributions to economics were unparalleled. He introduced the concept of Pareto efficiency, revolutionizing the way economists analyzed individual choices and societal welfare. His astute observations led him to discover the Pareto distribution, a power law probability distribution that unveiled the unequal distribution of income. The profound implications of this discovery forever changed the way economists and social scientists understood wealth inequality. As Pareto delved deeper into his studies, he made a remarkable observation that would later be known as the Pareto Principle. He noticed that approximately 80% of the wealth in Italy was concentrated in the hands of a mere 20% of the population. This observation sparked a profound philosophical concept that would resonate throughout history. Pareto's principle became a cornerstone of economic analysis, reminding us of the inherent disparities that exist within societies. Vilfredo Pareto's legacy as a polymath and visionary continues to shape our understanding of economics and sociology. His work not only brought forth groundbreaking concepts but also challenged us to question the structures of power and wealth distribution. As we explore his life and delve into his intellectual pursuits, we bear witness to the profound impact of a man who dared to think differently and redefine the boundaries of economic analysis. Vilfredo Pareto, born in 1848 in Paris, was the son of Raphael Pareto, an Italian civil engineer, and Marie Medinier, a French woman. Growing up in a middle-class environment, he received a high standard of education and showed great promise from a young age. After moving back to Italy in 1858, Pareto attended the newly created Istituto Tecnico Lirdi, where he excelled in mathematics under the guidance of his professor, Ferdinando Pio Rosalini. In 1869, Pareto earned a doctorate in engineering from the Polytechnic University of Turin. His dissertation, titled The Fundamental Principles of Equilibrium in Solid Bodies, laid the foundation for his later interests in equilibrium analysis in economics and sociology. Little did he know that his work would shape the course of his career and become a fundamental aspect of his philosophy. Pareto's philosophy was centered around the concept of efficiency and the pursuit of equilibrium. He believed that individuals and societies naturally strive for balance and efficiency, and that this drive is essential for progress. Pareto saw his work in engineering as a metaphor for understanding human behavior and the functioning of societies. Utilizing his mathematical background, Pareto developed a theory known as Pareto efficiency, which states that an outcome is considered efficient if it cannot be improved upon without making someone worse off. This concept has since been widely applied in various fields, including economics, politics, and social sciences. Pareto's philosophy and his emphasis on equilibrium analysis can provide valuable insights into our daily lives. By understanding the importance of efficiency and striving for balance, we can make better decisions and create harmonious relationships. Pareto's legacy reminds us that achieving equilibrium is not only beneficial for individuals but also for societies as a whole. Vilfredo Pareto, a renowned Italian economist, began his professional journey in a completely different field. After graduating, he worked as a civil engineer, dedicating his skills to the development of infrastructure. He started his career at the state-owned Italian railway company and later transitioned to the private sector, becoming the manager of the Iron Works of San Giovanni Valdarno. With his expertise and dedication, Pareto eventually rose to the position of general manager of Italian Iron Works. However, Pareto's true passion lay in economics, which he only pursued in his mid-40s. Initially, he was a fervent advocate of classical liberalism, vehemently opposing any form of government intervention in the free market. His fierce attacks on government regulators made him stand out even among the most ardent British liberals of his time. In 1886, Pareto embarked on a new chapter of his life as a lecturer on economics and management at the University of Florence. During his time in Florence, Pareto's political activity was fueled by his own frustrations with government interference. He became actively involved in advocating for economic freedom and the principles of classical liberalism. However, his life took a turn in 1889 when he experienced personal loss with the death of his parents. 
This event prompted Pareto to reevaluate his priorities, leading him to make significant changes in his lifestyle. He decided to leave his job and, in a twist of fate, found love and companionship by marrying a Russian woman named Alessandrina Bakunina. Pareto's journey from civil engineer to classical liberal economist showcases his determination to pursue his true passion and make a significant impact in the field of economics. His relentless pursuit of economic freedom and his rigorous analysis of government intervention continue to inspire scholars and thinkers alike. Pareto's philosophy serves as a valuable guide in our daily lives, reminding us of the importance of individual liberty and the potential dangers of excessive government control. As we navigate the complexities of modern society, Pareto's insights on economics and the principles of classical liberalism can help us make informed decisions and strive for a more prosperous and equitable future. Vilfredo Pareto, a renowned economist and sociologist, dedicated his life to understanding the complexities of wealth and society. In 1893, he assumed the position of Chair of Political Economy at the University of Lausanne in Switzerland, where he would spend the remainder of his days. It was during his time there that he published a groundbreaking textbook in 1896-1897, introducing the Pareto distribution, a theory that explained how wealth is distributed in society. According to Pareto, this distribution remained constant across all human societies, regardless of time or location. One of Pareto's most famous observations came in 1906 when he noticed that 20% of the population owned a staggering 80% of the property in Italy. This observation was later expanded upon by Joseph M. Uran and became known as the Pareto Principle. This principle states that a small percentage of causes can be attributed to a large percentage of effects, a concept that has found applications in various fields beyond economics. While Pareto maintained amicable relationships with individual socialists, he fundamentally disagreed with their economic ideas. Over time, his suspicion of their motives grew, leading him to denounce socialist leaders as an aristocracy of brigands who threatened the country's well-being. He even criticized the government for not taking a tougher stance against worker strikes. As unrest among laborers increased in the Kingdom of Italy, Pareto found himself aligning with the anti-socialist and anti-democratic camp. His views on Italian fascism in his later years remain a topic of debate and controversy. Pareto's contributions to scientific sociology were profound. He challenged the prevailing positivist approach, which he saw as a totalizing metaphysical system lacking a rigorous logical experimental method. Instead, Pareto advocated for a multidisciplinary approach, emphasizing the importance of sociology as a critique of cumulative knowledge and a discipline that promotes relational models of science. Even in the 21st century, his ideas continue to shape and influence the social sciences. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.